She never, she never gets challenged, she never stresses, everything goes her way, she never adapts to the narrative or to the storyline. Her character never changes. Or struggles. Or struggles. That is literally the definition of a Mary Sue. Mm. You, just, you just went back in, hello Desert Samurai JD, uh, I'm so sorry you've walked into this. It's been a whole conversation. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's, it's just Desert really Samurai. funny. All right, and that's so what I'm trying to get this one person in the chat to understand that claiming that your character can't defeat anybody of anywhere of any time of any day and that you are a demonic character with angelic powers that you can defeat everybody that crosses your path that's very Mary Sue-ish. It means you will never adapt to storylines. You'll never have a decently good story. Nobody will relate to you because you're perfect in every way. That's freaking boring. Perfection yeah. is boring, as Silver Quill would say. You can write it's... characters that have good qualities to them, and you can write characters with a lot of good qualities to them, but if you don't put mm -hmm. them up against things that challenge those qualities or, you know, make a character think about their own actions, it's never going to be interesting. Like, that's... It's writing. You have to write something there. Uh, uh, <laughs> do, I, do I have to write something there? No. No. Oh, no. It, just, it keeps getting better and better. It, it's like watching oh, a truck that's continuously <laughs> crashing into things that it's trying to pull out of the driveway. I'm well, only mean when provoked. Tip, I, I want to process hoping... this. I'm only mean when provoked. I respect Golden Bliss, Jess, and a few others. I struggle with my dark side. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. No. Oh. No, Listen, honey, uh, you're missing you the learn, point. You gotta learn to separate your fiction from your reality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Please, please Just, stop. We don't I'm need. We don't. Wait, wait, we, we, we don't. Funny. We don't need another headstrong. Oh yeah. god. Please. Yeah, this um, actually reminds me of something I looked up. I uh, actually watched it on a video. Someone actually did a a video involving the the psychology the psychology involving uh, people when it comes to fantasizing. Mm -hmm. Just be just because people have these certain like fantasies, adult relate in in a more adult content or not, that doesn't make them that that's what they're into in real life. It's just yeah. fantasy. It's part of a the it's part of the, some kind of mental related thing that people have all the time. I mean, I know it's true because I also have that similar case, but it, it definitely shows, yeah, just because I would fantasize about something like this, that doesn't mean that's actually something I'm into in real no, life. No, no, like, the, there's a distinction that you're trying, that you're trying to make, and it's basically this. The, there's a difference between a fetish and a fantasy. Yeah. Thank you. A, feti a fetish or to fetish, yeah, yeah no, a fe to fetish or fetishize about something is basically this. Um, a fantasy is something that's uh, hot inside your head, or but you would never do it in real life if offered, even if it's possible, or you would say yes to it, but it's physically impossible. Um, a fe a fetish is something that is physically possible, and under normal conditions, you would say yes to it. Yeah. Mm. All right. So this conversation has kind of gone long enough, and it is kind yeah. of getting very yeah, awkward. It's kind of getting especially. Yeah. So let's just how's let's how talk you about me? How go? Hey, Golden Fox. How's the game going? <laughs> um, I made it to the next level. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, I saw that. Oh, I was watching. Oh. He goes on. I need to. I, I, I have something cute to say involving my daughter. Oh, jeez. What's up? We got her some little cute sprinklers to play to play in. Aww. Aww. And there goes my lever. Disgusting. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, Reese, uh, she wanted to get a. She wanted to swim, of course. I mean, it's summertime. What do you do? You go swimming, especially in Texas. Hmm, yeah. But because of the stupid virus that's been going around, a lot of places are closed just because of that. Do you see you that see question? That? Uh, question? see the question. One sec. Ask Anne. If you play Pokemon or was a Pokemon trainer, would you be a ghost, dark type, user, or both? Um, <laughs> funny enough, people have actually drawn me as a Pokemon. Um, like, there was, I don't know if anyone even remembers this person, but I'm going to give you a blast of the past right now. Uh, Cat Avenger drew me as a Meowstic stick at one point. Um, I mean, technically you could call me a ghost, because by some technical definitions, I'm a zombie. Uh, I also see you having dark 
type Pokemon as well, because dark types in Japan are titled as evil Pokemon. It doesn't really fit me. Like, if you if you really look at Aeon symbolism, there is, like, superficial evil symbolism, but it's more like... How do I put this? Oh. If you were really to put Aeon on a D&D chart, he would more be chaotic neutral, because he's more of a Thelemite demon than a Christian demon. Yeah. Okay, I get it. Also, by the way, you said the name Cat Avenger. That just, like, brought me Yeah, back. blast you in... Yeah, yeah that you, blasted you, you into the past, that. right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so long ago. Whew, that's, that's a name I've not heard in a long time. Long, long time. You know, oh god, but... What Pokemon types would I be? Um, what is it? Lightning Bliss, what's your favorite ice cream treat? I'm a fan of Nestle Drumsticks. No nuts, of course. I mean, I like no... I don't like to fuss over ice cream. I'm pretty... I'm, I'm relatively simple, so I just like uh, to go to the Marble Slab and get their Red Velvet ice cream flavor. But, I, but I'll admit, if we ever go to Amy's Ice Cream, which I do not know if there's a store around here, but what I like to do at Amy's Ice Cream is I like to get uh, coffee ice cream with Reese's chopped chunks in it. Oh, oh, oh Blissy, you're gonna torture me. That's just delicious. I mean, Reese's, Reese's and coffee ice cream, man. Don't knock it till you try it. It's amazing. No, no, no. It sounds delicious. That's what I'm saying, but it's gonna torture me. Wait, did somebody say coffee flavored ice cream? Yeah. Oh, I love coffee oh, dude, ice cream. I haven't had that in a long time. Like, that's one of my favorite flavors right next to, like, chocolate chip cookie dough. Okay, dude, yeah. Chocolate chip cookie dough is so yes. good. I'm really hungry right now. That was, like, have... that was a high school favorite of mine. <laughs> this sounds... Everyone suggesting ice cream sounds really good right now, and I'm really hungry. Let's all get ice cream. There's this one particular ice cream flavor that I got to try, and it was so good. That is uh, one of Bluebell's newest ice cream. Oh, which one? Oh, shit. Damn, this thing's Cookie useful. Cake. Oh, yeah, I've seen that, but again, I don't like fuss in my ice cream, so, and, and Bluebell tends to put too much, like, Bluebell made their own red velvet cake ice cream, but it wasn't flavored, it, it was just vanilla ice cream with cake chunks in it, and I didn't like that. I, thinking about that, though, I had, um, a Dairy Queen, uh, it was like a, uh, uh Oreo cheesecake blizzard, and it was way too good. Oh, oh my you God. got one of the blizzards. Yeah, yeah. This, this, yeah like the them, this yeah. should not be legal levels of good. This yeah. should not be legal levels of good. Absolutely. Oh, hundred percent agree. Dairy Queen I is, mean, is Dairy full Queen. of those kind of things. Oh, oh yeah. I'm no, well, uh, I'm um, because I grew up in New England. What I usually grew up is we don't have Bluebell up there. We have Ben and Jerry's because the plant for Ben and Jerry's is literally in Vermont. Oh, oh yeah. uh, dog. I figured so we so most of the experimental flavors came to us first because we're the testing ground for it. Actually, I'm gonna check something because I wasn't sure if Blue Bell is restricted to Texas. Blue so. Bell. I know we don't have. From what I remember, we don't have it up north. Ice cream. It's like locations. the same case as Doc. I know. Uh, I know it's like the same case as Dr Pepper because Dr Pepper's more southern than it is northern. Ah, uh, it comes oh, another one. No, side. you're. You're smoking something because Dr. Pepper is everywhere. Also, yeah. I would like to ask, did you just it call enough. it fucking Southern and not Southern? S Southern. Southern. It's yeah, I was going to say, uh, Kar Karen, am I to understand that... I was going to say, am I to understand that you've never been up north because it's been everywhere up north. I, it's probably not as recent, if that's what you mean. <laughs> Apparently, there's uh, like... No, it's, it's been there literally forever. My dad remembers drinking it back in the 70s. Yeah, Dr. Pepper's been around literally forever. Or, yeah. or at least forever. No, I mean, like, I mean, like not in uh, areas up in the north. I mean, because I remember never finding it in New York one time when we went to New York. Dude, we it's everywhere in New it. York. What are you talking about? They weren't in New York when I was there. Okay, let me see here. Oh, yeah, it's okay. there. I don't know what happened. I don't know All what right. happened. I just couldn't find any. Uh Okay, so I just found out where you can find Blue Bell product ice cream because this is literally what me and most likely Solar and Jesse grew up on because we're Texans. Yeah. Um, so yeah, majority, I would say 90% of Texas sells Blue Bell. Arizona, Arizona is swamped with Blue Bell. Okay, uh, all of Florida, Los, uh, all of Florida, Louisiana, a majority of the southern states, including New Mexico, yeah, I was a blue, Oklahoma I was a blue Bell territory. Parts of Colorado, 
um, North, uh, all the Carolinas, uh, Kentucky, Tennessee, parts of Montana, oh, part of Vermont, um, Indiana. Uh -oh. But uh, sorry to say to the Cali folk, there is no Blue Bell in Cali land. Uh, <laughs> just like there isn't the uh, water. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yeah, and there are definitely no blue bell in the northern states. Definitely not. Son of a bitch. That's a yeah, so New York, Pennsylvania, uh, so New Jersey, Michigan, is that Wisconsin. Brett needs to move to Texas. Yes. So oh. 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 oh, oh no, you're telling me I can't have blue bell ice cream. Oh no. I guess you'll have to oh, move so, to Texas. Oh, so sad. Just like you guys will never have an actual Philly cheesesteak ever. Ooh. That with the low blows. Ow! That's oh, a low. Man. That's low. I guess that is low, but I'd like to point to out sh you will never have authentic southern barbecue, so it kind of evens out there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I crave brisket more often than I crave Philly cheesesteak, but I do love Philly cheesesteak. See, I crave you say that like there ain't- long. You say that like there ain't people from the south who moved up here specifically to get away from you people and brought their food with them. Alright, I'll see you- I'll <laughs> see you in What do you mean, you people? Oh, I mean, okay, shit. okay, okay. Yeah. If he moved up there to the get away time. from us people, then he's a traitor, and therefore it is not authentic southern cuisine. Suck my dick. You're the guy- you're the kind of person who takes the confederate flag to the NASCAR races, aren't you? This is crying, dude! Races, you goddamn troglodyte. Oh my god! Why do you uh. attack me with words, brother? <laughs> Alright, so, um, there's somebody who's got, like, a, a jumping jet, like, a hopping- Oh, hop. fuck. What do they uh, do? Is that a, is that uh, they probably move, move faster. faster. Vlad's about to explode when he looks at the chat. Kirby bot, I'm gonna Kirby bot because my family is here. I can't go on my usual tirade, so I'm gonna this week. You get a slip. You get one. You get one. You get one. Man, those zombies are just dying to get in. Wow, Kirby. Master Whoa. Code, shut up. I I'm I'm not usually that mean, but Master Code, shut up. You need to shut up. <laughs> that was well, my Master Code. I will not go to Master Code. <laughs> Nobody else will. Come here, I'll give you a hug. Oh. Did you guys see that thing yes, where? Uh, give me all the hugs. Did you guys see this thing where like this no-name NASCAR racer uh, announced that it would be his last season yeah, with NASCAR? Yeah, I saw that. And, and, and NASCAR, NASCAR Twitter account was like, "Who are you again?" We we literally had to Google you. <laughs> <laughs> he had only that done had two seasons, I think, because he had only entered thirty-two races and he yep. had won nothing. Yep. That, that, that I mean, sounds I mean, let's be real. There are a lot of like slap shoes. I uh, shout out to slap shoes. Um, he's it's a NASCAR channel, but it's he's like a really really good one to where like he can make a video about something, and even if you're not into NASCAR, his videos are just that good. Isn't is that the same dude that it's ten? You showed me. Where he hasn't was, messaged uh... me yet. Um, no, no, but yeah, um, he, he, he makes a lot of videos, and he actually does have a video called Top 10 Best NASCAR Racers Who Never Actually Won. Yeah. <laughs> because that's, that's most likely, well, that's most likely to happen to you, though, because usually the racing, or how to put this, autocross is usually, or any motorsport is usually done by a point system. You, it's kind of like Quidditch, where, yeah, if you catch the snitch, that doesn't mean you win, you just get 150 points. <laughs> that and it ends the game. So, but that doesn't. But if you scored over 150 points, then odds are you still didn't win. You just ended the game. Um, NASCAR is kind of like NASCAR is kind of like that, where just because you came in first doesn't necessarily mean you you win the season or anything. So, a lot of the time you get a lot of drivers who are really really good drivers. It's just um, yeah, by that's... natural process of elimination, you get 200 racers in a track. You're going to have a lot of people who don't win. <laughs> Come on. Um, ask Bliss, who's more pure, Gabby or Finn the Pony? It's Dave. Is that really is that really a fair comparison? You're comparing a real a, a real person to a fictional character. Yeah. So. yeah. yeah. I was gonna the, answer, say. the answer is Dave. You've never it, met Dave, but Dave is pretty cool. It's obviously me. <laughs> no. No, Master Joe. No. No. I, what? I have hung super out with you pure. way too long, Master Code. It's, I, I will, I, I will say again. this though. I will say this. Finn is probably one of the most laid-back, 
kind, sweetest people I've ever met, even at our worst circumstances within the community. He always found a way to smile or, or try to cheer people up. I don't know how he does it. I don't, I, I don't know where he finds the strength to do it, but out, out of everybody I've known and met, even at the worst circumstances, when some of us were going through some of the most hardest times, he's always found a way to make somebody smile. Yeah. So, like our yeah. Finn. I, I'll joke about a lot of things, but Finn is genuinely like one of the nicest human beings I've ever met. Finn is like, one of those people who I would just like, he's worth white knighting. <laughs> like, and it's, it's there so. There you go. <laughs> it's, it's like, why would you attack him anyway? Nice. He's impossibly nice. Like, he's one of those people who's like, how do you shit, manage shit, to shit. be a human being when everything is terrible all the time? You just, Come on, take him out, take him out, take him out. I bet myself, but I haven't oh my it. god! I haven't the yet. Jesus. So that's what they do? They just hop You're over free. everything. Yeah. Oh. Oh, shit. That, that's a problem. That is okay, a problem. Okay, that like is a big works. problem. That's a really big problem. Oh, oh God. Hey, uh, Blissey. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever heard of this place called Alley Cats? Alley Cats? Yeah. No. Hey, okay. Uh, hey, I, I just uh, found out about it. It's a, it's a bowling alley place. Wheels of Steel, uh, I'm just gonna... I'm probably just gonna put this out there and I'm gonna speak on behalf of the group because I'm pretty sure we'll all agree on this. It's not really fun comparing our friends between each other. We kind of like all of them. Yeah. You know, that's why we hang out with them. So we're not really mm -hmm. gonna compare which person is nicer or more pure or sweet. I, it's not a really a conversation that's worth having. Unless it, you're comparing me and Solar. <laughs> then it's just slap, our, slap the schlog on the table and say it, measure it, get the ruler. All right, so I got a question from uh, a master code seven four hundred and seven. I, I stupid name. Who's more looking? Who's more good looking? Master code or master code? Very good question from the chat, guys. Uh, the the answer is the answer is obviously <laughs> no, guys, guys. The answer is obviously Anthony C. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You know what? You can't fault him for that. That's an absolutely correct answer. That is the correct I, answer. I'll have to agree on that one. <laughs> ah! Oh god, it's them again. Oh, shit. Here he is again. It's oh, a fancy one! Here we go again. Well, oh, I know what I want. Come on, take him out! Gold there gold. we go. Yeah, yeah fuck oh. you. Yay! We got I'll rid of the jumping that. one. Yeah. Okay, so. Chat's suggesting that you should use the tall nuts on the uh, pogo guys. I don't yeah. have the tall nuts. Yeah, you think, do. Yeah, I think you do. <laughs> yeah, but do you have D's nuts? Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Ask Bliss, have you ever been to the League City area? I am from there. It's between Houston and Galveston. First off, never tell people where you live, dude. That's Please not don't. safe. Yeah, Second, no. Bad. No. Yeah, never reveal where you live. That's not safe. Be be no, safe on the internet. Be smart. Um, that being said, um, I don't really visit Houston or Galveston anymore since I have, no longer have family there. So, yeah. <gasps> yeah. Magnet yeah. shroom removes helmets and other metal objects from metal. Cool. No, okay. Metal awesome. Nice. Um, um, yeah. What did I hear was me? Okay, so Masco posted a joke question saying who's more handsome, Mastercode or Mastercode, and I said A on it, then everybody else said Anthony C. <laughs> Both answers are very good, but I'm gonna go with Anthony on this one, you know. Yeah. But he's told I mean, me. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, but he's got a jawline that could cut diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Peter, Peter, I love you. I love you, but I'm sorry. Uh, I, I um. Aeon's yeah, got a voice that could kill. I don't know. He can, he he can read the yellow. He can. I quote a fan. He could read the yellow pages and still make it sound sexy. Mm. Okay. I still okay. think that Barry White's got him beat on that one. <laughs> we got a question. Hello, dearies. This is Aaron Aronson. We got a question yeah. from Heartless Heartless A9 Doom. Ask all if you guys can uh, think of yourself as an anime slash game character. Which ones do you think you will be? Sergeant Johnson. No question. No. Yeah, oh, everybody loves Johnson. Yes. Everybody I was gonna say. Johnson. I was gonna say though. I was gonna. I was gonna give one rebuttal. Uh, one rebuttal, despite the not despite the non comparison rule, if it has been invoked, I suppose I should give some defense. Uh, Anthony C is the friend you can never have. 
I'm the one who's always here for everyone. That's true. <laughs> that's that is, fair. Okay. That's <laughs> not very nice, everybody. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. After all the shit talking, I had to have one thing. Yeah, it's all good. You're just uh, saying? Are you super saying? Shut up. No. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I made a blizzard try not to love you. you see, I'm going. Uh, I'm see, going. we don't, we don't compare ourselves to each other unless it's, unless it's a dunk on me. Yeah. I'm trying to think of which video game character I do I see myself as. I'm just saying. I am currently debating this as well. I'm debating this as well, and I probably will have no answer by the end of it. Oh, this is a hard one. I'm just gonna say Waluigi because it's funny. It's a good answer. <laughs> wow. Solid meme. <laughs> I know what video game. I no, I know what video game character I would be without, I would be any, without like, any like. I'd be Gex. <laughs> oh, Jesus. How this many times will Master Code say something dumb? Give him some time. <laughs> How many times will he say something dumb? <laughs> that's not really, <laughs> that's Damn, not really a quantifiable thing. We, it's more we of an event. Rob, I'm, I'm noticing. I'm noticing a. Th I'm noticing a thing went. Uh, I notice how uh, yeah. the first thing you do is say, "Oh, we don't compare our friends," and the first thing you do is start comparing everyone. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm reading the chat's question. No, nah, you, you're doing it, bro. Uh, I guess I am now, but thanks, chat. Guilty. 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 Go to horny jail. <laughs> 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 Only if Peter's there. 